Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Well, uh, today we're going to be looking at how to plug into an equation. So, throughout the year, you'll realize you need to use an equation, you'll have some values, and you'll need to plug them in to solve for something. And so, here's how we're going to do that. Um, we're going to use a five-step process, and uh, as you get, if you get more complicated uh, situations later on, you may need to adjust a little bit, but for the most part, uh, you'll be able to use this five-step process. So the first step you'll have to use is you'll need to list your variables. Okay, so as you do that, you need to know which uh, letters represent which numbers. So for example, F equals uh, 200 newtons of force. That might be something you'd list, assuming the problem said somebody pushed with 200 newtons of force. So F equals 200 newtons. The second thing you'll need to do is you'll need to write down the equation you're using. You might think, well, don't we already know that? Well, no, usually in a problem you're just given a bunch of variables. So the first step is to pick out what you've been given of force, uh, mass, and you're looking for an acceleration, or whatever the case might be. In step one, you'll want to also make sure that you list the unknown. So if acceleration was the unknown, you'd put lowercase a equals question mark. Okay? Now at this point in my class, we haven't learned what any of the letters represent, and so you'll get a sheet that tells you what each letter represents. Uh, but step two is to write down the equation. So once you know I'm using F, I'm using M, and I'm trying to find A, well, then you can take a look at your equation sheet that we looked at in the last episode. Um, and you can find an equation that has capital F, lowercase m, and lowercase a. And lo and behold, here it is, Newton's second law, F equals ma. Okay, so step two, just write a two, and next to that put F equals ma. Step three, we're going to cover tomorrow, because uh, for some people that's more challenging. That's where we rearrange the equation to get by itself in the numerator the thing that we're uh, looking for. Um, but for today, we'll only do problems that are already solved for the thing we're looking for. So if we were using Newton's second law, F would be the unknown. If we we're doing average speed, V would be the unknown. If we were doing work, W would be the unknown. Okay, so that's what we'll do today. So step four is to plug in the values from step one into the equation that you have written in step two or in the future, it might be the equation written in step three if you had to rearrange it. Uh, and then step five is to calculate the answer. So let's do a couple sample problems, okay? First sample problem we'll do is um, a handheld fan with a resistance of three, and then you'll notice that little horseshoe symbol there, uh, is run using a current of 9A. For now, we're not going to worry about the units because, once again, we haven't learned all of them. The question is, what is the voltage of the battery? Okay, so first thing you have to do is look for, for uh, uh, what the variables are. So first thing we see is we're looking for the voltage. So if you look on your list that we have, you'll see that voltage is capital V. So we write V equals question mark. Then uh, we see that we have a current of 9A. Current, we look that up on our list, current is capital I, capital I equals 9A. And finally, it says resistance of three horseshoes, which is ohms, but for now we'll just say horseshoes. Um, uh, and we look up resistance, and it's capital R equals uh, three horseshoes. So now we've listed our variables. So now we have to figure out what equation we're using. So we come to the blue sheet. We uh, recognize we have to find uh, one that has V, I, and R, so we find Ohm's law down here on the bottom right. Okay, so Ohm's law, V equals I, R. So then we uh, write down that, step two, V equals I, R. Then we're skipping step three because we've already solved for V, and so we can plug in. I is 9A, so we'll plug it in like this, and then R is three horseshoes, so we'll plug it in like this, and then you can see when we multiply those two together, nine times three gives us 27. 
and our units for now will just do A times horseshoes, so 27A horseshoes. Later on, we'll learn that that's the same thing as a volt, and so we'd normally just write volt. But for now, this is how we'll do it as we're learning how to plug them in. Okay, one more question. A Baywatch lifeguard runs a distance of 10 meters to save a nearly drowning victim in a time of 5 seconds, 5s. What is the lifeguard's velocity? Okay, so we uh, find our uh, variables. We see that we're looking for velocity, and so we use that little lowercase v uh, is the question mark. Then we notice the distance or displacement uh, is 10m. Well, we notice that distance and displacement shows up on our list several times, so it could be a radius, it could be a displacement, it could be a distance. Well, okay, it's a distance or displacement, so we're going to put either d or delta x. Okay, And then uh, we see that a time of 5 seconds, so we look up time, it's either t or delta t. You can just list it as either one. So now we have to have, find something that has lowercase v, it has a delta x or a d, and it has a delta t or a t. Okay. And the only thing that matches all three of those criteria is our very first equation, v equals delta x over delta t. So at this time we could go back and cross out the d and cross out the t because we're going to be using delta x and delta t. Then we write our equation, v equals delta x over delta t. Then we plug in, uh, v equals 10m over 5s. And 10 divided by 5 gives us 2. And so we calculate for step 5, 2, and then we just leave the units m over s, which is actually how that would be left. It's meters per second. But for right now, don't worry about it. what it means. It's just m over s. We'll get to what it means soon enough. All right, well, I hope that helped. Uh, that's going to be the system we're going to use all year is that five-step system. Number one, list your variables. Two, figure out which equation you should be using. Three, if you have to, rearrange the equation. Four, plug in uh, your, your values from step one. And step five, calculate the answer. All right, hope you learned a lot. Uh, see you next time on rearranging equations.